Stafford area. Now Razoo's is looking to expand not only its menu, but also its footprint in the Houston area. Joining us now this morning is Chris Deegan with Razoo's Cajun Cafe. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? Great. Now Good. better now that we have Cajun food yeah, on the table. It smells great, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you guys are opening up a new location. There's construction going on right now. We are actually, we haven't quite started yet. We're going to start in about two weeks in Pasadena over at uh, Vista, uh, uh, Vista and Loop 8. So. How exciting is that, yeah, it's right? Great. It's really, it's so really very exciting. Cajun food is very popular mm -hmm. anywhere. Really. Yeah, it's really coming on now. So. Right. So kind yeah. of describe the uh, flavor and the, the style. Sure. Well, I mean, Cajun food is really more country food as opposed to Creole, which is more of your city food. And, uh, you know, so when you're in New Orleans, you're going to see more Creole with French and Spanish influences. And Cajun is, has a lot of uh, French still, but it's, it's more of your, uh, you know, boudin and tasso and crawfish right. and things like that. So, Got it. Yeah. So we have a special dish on the table, which smells amazing. Yeah, this it is, really does. Right. It's a, this is our barbecue shrimp aquan, mm -hmm. and it is, uh, it's sauteed shrimp with peppers and onions uh, with, a, with a sauce that's with a ton of garlic, which you can smell, obviously, mm. uh, made with seafood stock and hot sauce, tomato sauce, uh, all cooked together and thickened with a roux. And uh, some secret seasoning. You don't have to give it, it away. It is. That's okay. I don't mind. It's, uh, it has uh, some rosemary and thyme and oregano, which is uh, you know, more aromatic, and then it has, uh, for the heat, it's got some cayenne and crushed red pepper. And so fun. Cajun food is spicy, right? Not always. It's just heavily, it's, just, it's very flavorful. flavorful. So you really have a, a big range. I mean, you know, with this on the side, we season the shrimp before we put it in the pan, but mm -hmm. uh, you, know, you can really control how spicy you want it based right. on that. So, um, so really, actually, you don't want, you don't always want it real spicy. Etouffee is not very spicy, and, mm -hmm. and Creole is a little bit more spicy. But Got it. Yeah. Okay, so what else uh, is on the menu? Well, we have, uh, I'd put our gumbo up against anybody's. Our gumbo is amazing. Mm. Uh, and then we have uh, some new items that we're working on right now. We're going to, uh, we're going to, do some menu changes here in another month or so. And you were also mentioning, I know it's uh, not too far away, actually, it's right around the corner, but for Thanksgiving, y'all do fried, fried turkeys. Fried turkeys, sure, absolutely. We fry it for you so you don't burn down, darn, burn down your garage. Right, right? yeah, so. don't burn your house down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we do a ton of fried turkeys out of all mm. of our restaurants. It's a lot of fun. So I love it. Yeah, Thanksgiving is uh, not too far away. Yeah, it's only right? a couple of months. Only a couple I love of it. Months, so. Okay, so uh, give us information on your locations again. So we have one here in Stafford already and one up in Spring that are open. And then uh, the third one will open in, in Pasadena, hopefully in January or February. Okay, so. not too bad. Well, Just thank you so February. much. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Of course. And you can find all this info. Check out a replay of this segment online on our website. That's click2houston.com right after the show. It'll be posted under the video tab on the homepage. Sophia?